My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violet, New Jersey, and um, I'm actually going to record my video being hacked into. I spoke against uh, my uh, persecutor who committed hate crimes against me, William Clay, um, who um, is, if you will, like abusing emotions. He's faking crying. Now, the thing is, you know, look, I, I had to rewind the video because I couldn't understand. Like, I mean, this guy is evil. I mean, this guy, I, be I believe, belongs in prison. Um, I mean, he, he, he. He's a pathological, like, psychopathic liar. By the way, they're both, like, a number of my persecutors because I spoke against their psychopathy, um, um, lies or whatever, and, um, um, they're, and I spoke against them, their conscious being seared and all these th things or whatever. Um, they're echoing it and they keep echoing, um, um, my teachings. I spoke against them and even use scripture against them. It doesn't have to be in scripture, but you know, um, there's some good, uh, writings of the word of God in scripture. So, um, the thing is, is I spoke against them, um, um, uh, how do I say this, uh, about the, uh, them condemning a law and even condemning what is right. I mean, I was actually attacked by this false pastor and asked him why he was doing this. He's like, oh, you always want to be right. So, and they actually had an issue for me being right. They actually bullied me and it wasn't like I was presenting this thing. Oh, well, I, I'm right. I'm right. Now I do that now just because, you know, false accusations or whatever. Sit there and twist what I do. I simply shared with them in kindness, like truth, and it just opposed um, their evil false teachings. So the thing is, is that, um, and they actually was literally slandered me and abused me over it. So <clears throat> the thing is, is um, they grossly pervert scripture. Um, it is really, really disturbing. But the thing is, they, they, they've been hacked into my computer for years, altering my videos, even altering my videos to pretend they're speaking against me that I'm not saying. So they did it again. And I mean, give another example. Um, I was speaking about scripture or something like that. And they hacked my computer and they cut out a section, um, where I was explaining the Bible. And I never said that, you know, like the Bible, like from the times, like I don't, I don't, 10, 10, 10, 2000 years ago, I'm sorry. I was going to say 10,000, not 10,000, 2000 years ago. Um, um, yeah, no, the Bible didn't exist. Uh, writings, yes, it did exist. Um, so the thing is, is I'm, I'm well, I'm well skilled in the Bible, but they're cutting out videos and altering my videos, pretending they're speaking against me because I spoke against their, um, false claims and things like that. So they're flipping things backwards. So they, that was Frank Apollo, Anthony Apollo or whatever, acting like they're correcting me for something that basically, well, I'm sorry, my video was edited and you're going to pretend you're speaking against me. No. So, I mean, for years, I basically have taught that, you know, even the, the, the uh, titles of, uh, which would be, uh, formerly as scrolls or titles, um, of books or, uh, even the numbering in the Bible would, did not even exist. Okay. So the, even the punctuation marks. Okay. And I've actually spoken about that for years. So they're going to cut out. It, it seemed like though, would it seem like there's another look, it seems like somebody's actually using them and lying about me. And even though they're willfully lying about me because they slander God and make up delusional lies quite often. And, but it seems like in some instances where I, there's like one group that is editing my videos and then falsely accusing me and getting somebody else to make false accusations against me, claiming that I said this or that. Okay. So... Um, to follow the manipulation and me being targeted, um, um, and harassed and, per, you know, persecuted for, um, uh, because of my religious, um, insight, uh, and faith in God. Um, yeah, they are slandering what religion is. This is nothing new. Catholics did the same thing, except in a, in, in a backwards form where they basically claimed all their sins and abominations against God is religion. So it's no different when they're sitting there claiming they're denouncing religion and then, basically, uh, how do I say this? Um, so yes, confusing to follow to ex actually express it, but they are basically claiming that religion, speaking against religion and claiming that all these lies is religion. Basically they're claiming sin is religion and religion is sin when religion is against sin. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, we know like, you know, uh, is common sense where you can sit there and, and basically see like, okay, well, no, what that group and what they believe is not religion or not religious. So, you know, um, it's just like Catholics, Catholics, um, uh, beliefs are irreligious. Um, so they mocked me on that, by the way, um, because they were speaking lies against Jesus Christ, prophets, God, um, <clears throat> um, and their righteousness and basically, um, and because I spoke against their false doctrines, um, I basically call them irreligious, um, and make it a point that their irreligion, uh, irreligious, uh, evil sin, um, is against the Christian religion. So they're claiming that, you know, uh, Christianity is not a religion. It is, and it's not, it has nothing to do with being a group of people. Christian religion simply is only described as basically laws of the good conscience that is in everyone. No one can own religion. So, um, whether they want to change the words, okay, or the term of language or whatever the case may be um and manipulate and play all these games <coughs> i'm sorry um and, you know and, and and claim now oh well you know they're not religious and all these other things whatever. well no they're not they're irreligious and then said they sat there and lied and said oh you're saying like you know oh jesus is irreligious and they're just in there saying oh yeah so they frank apolito like responded like jesus is irreligious no, I didn't say that, you mind-raping pig, okay? And yes, Jesus did call you people swine, okay? So all they're doing is mind-raping. Um, it's gaslighting. Um, all they're doing is violating a good conscience, which is a crime, by the way. Under God's laws, well, any law that is just, true, and right is God's laws. But, you know, for, I don't know, whatever purposes, and we'll sit there and demonstrate, like, uh, state laws. Like, I'm sorry, if there was, like, something that was illegal that was against the law, um, I'm not going to follow that uh, illegal so-called law appearing as law when it is not law. And I understand that people sit there and claim, oh, well, you know, I don't believe that. So, you know, I don't have to follow it. No, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I mean, it, it, there's concrete laws that basically helps protect and preserve life or whatever the case may be. Yada, yada, yada. Um, people know. They know when they're doing wrong. And, the, and, and I mean, not in every little detail. I've, you know, witnessed that where, you know, they don't understand that what they're doing is wrong. And it deceptively appears to be good but it is actually very evil so it's kind of like going around and these false preachers going around claiming that nobody's allowed to judge and they twist and pervert the bible and like, we're, we're allowed to judge in righteousness like i'm judging in righteousness against you all so the thing is is that anyway i'm gonna go on so, uh, yeah, they hacked my computer, and I spoke against um, William Clay faking emotions. Um, it, that is so irreligious. It is um, – it's an abomination. It is a lie. Um, I do not believe in that whatsoever. I actually have taught, like, sacred – how important um, – um, emotions are because it is language. Um, so the thing is, is, um, you know, emotions are very sacred. Um, and, um, it, there, that's just something like, look, if you, if you, it's the same with lie. If you justify a lie in your mind, you're going to corrupt your own mind. Um, something I keep telling people over and over and over, like these churches cannot be Christian. Um, uh, you know, especially if you lie, manipulate, deceive, and do all these things, you can't be Christian and do these things. This is, you know, they, they, they manipulate and, um, because they're putting false guilt trips on me on, uh, with slander has nothing to do with anything that I do or say or whatever, any of these things. And then vilify and victimizing me, um, for being a victim of well cult abuse, um, uh, persecution, domestic violence, and all these other things or whatever, trying to put false guilt trips on me and blame me. And then I basically said, Oh, well, you're lying. You're going to go to hell for lying. They're like, Oh, and William Clay is going to echo from the Hollins Pope echoing other people um and claiming that oh well they don't bear false guilt or whatever no no liars go to hell okay it actually is um evidence of you being ungodly unbelievers and evil 
So um, this is what distinguishes us from um, the wicked who, I mean, the only thing that can identify a Christian is one who lives in truth and righteousness. So um, lying is murder. When I said that before, um, they try to just mock it and play games and all these other things or whatever. Um, lying is murder because it destroys life. It destroys, destroys the truth and they know it. So the thing is, and they're like, oh, well, anger is, anger is murder. This is what they did. Well, no. Uh, and any, any anger that I, I basically have expressed has been righteous anger. Um, and the thing is, they are the ones who are basically unrighteously angry because they cannot do the evil and they continue to do evil. Um, so anger itself is righteous. It can be defiled and used by sin. Um, but that's just they're an emotion that is contaminated by false ideas, by lies. So this is the mind rape that they continue to do. It is um, mental abuse, uh, harassment, um, slander. Yeah, all the things. I mean, they're they're criminals. So, um, you know, a bunch of brute, um, carnal, um, ungodly men claiming to be of God and attacking a woman um, because the, the holiness, um, righteous message that I hold, it basically exposes them them all as evil um so they have a lie for everything um that is a slander um to bury the word of truth that i speak so the thing is they're hacking my videos and trying to make it appear that i said something that i did not say um they're manipulating um because i spoke against them and then sitting there claiming that uh feelings are false um and, and basically call it, this is a thing, they go and manipulate and, um, how do I say this? Um, it, there's like deception, false doctrine, right? And it basically claims that a lot of uh, feelings is subjective and subject, whatever subjective is false, which is not true. Subjective is basically what serves and it's basically, um, um, for example, uh, an object, objective fact, okay, um, can be interpreted by a truth or a lie. The, both the truth and the lie in regards to that fact, uh, either rightly interprets, which would be by the truth, or falsely interprets, which would be by the lie, misinterprets. So the thing is, there, the truth and the lie either serves that fact, um, um, being subjective, serving, okay, is what, what it is. Um, these are from my original writings, by the way, um, to basically uh, be against their uh, deluded false doctrines that I cannot follow because it is delusions. Um, so the thing is, is that um, they're, they're, they're hard-pressed against me, if you will. I mean, I just wrote that out and put that on um, from the passage of the Bible or whatever, but they're hard-pressed against me and persecuting me. Um, um, simply because of the holy truth that I speak and they're afraid of being exposed. Look, you know, um, if you're wrong, except wrong. I mean, I've made errors or whatever, and I w immediately was corrected by the Holy Spirit because, it, it, you know, the Holy Spirit sanctifies me. Um you know, and the thing is, I listen for the truth, and there's a lot of confusion. Like, I mean, the reality is, is that a majority of people um, that I've been around, 99, 90, over 90, I would say over 90 percent of the time, of the people I encounter, the majority of the things that comes out of their mouths, and well, these are thousands and thousands and thousands of people, by the way, from online to my encounters, most of the majority of the things that come out, most of people are delusional lies and false doctrines, and it's really disturbing to actually um, live in this and, you know, they refuse to be sanctified by the truth um, and got it to the truth and they still hang on to their delusions and the thing is, it's just, it's a mind raping evil that I'm surrounded by. Yes, no, it's not grandiose or thinking Holly more than I ought to when I'm basically like a pearl cast before swine. Um, it's disgusting. Um, so I don't know if I can make a list and do a video about just all the things, but we're actually going to listen to a lie. Um, I'm not speaking lies here. I basically spoke against, fr um, I'm sorry, um, William Clay, um, faking emotions. And the thing is, I'm still responding. I'm, I, I had to watch, observe that and even observe how I feel I'm responding because this guy is very evil. Um, I hate him. 
Um, he's an abomination against God. Um, and he's faking this compassionate empathy, emotions or whatever, while he's mocking and slandering, um, 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 me, the church, uh, no, these church, these church cults are not the church. Okay. And, um, the thing is he actually speaks against Jesus Christ and makes up lies that Jesus told him these things. And the thing is, it's not even that he believes that Jesus told him these things. Um, he's just manipulatively lying. He does not even believe in Jesus because he's lying willfully. So anyway, they basically, um, altered my video. Uh, they might alter this one also um they this is exhausting it is exhausting ha exhausting to go through this and try to fix it and put the uh, the uh, i actually put it on my screen um that this video has been hacked and this is what has changed they still went and after that and made more changes in some videos i can't keep up with it it is tiring and exhausting um so I can't catch everything. I, I just can't do it. And it's very, very stressful. Um, they are harassing me. Like they saw, like they built a team to sit there and harass me and hack my computer. This is exactly what they did. Um, to slander me, to make me out to be as evil or false as they are. And they hate me because I am not. Um, and the thing is, it's just like they can't just come to the truth. It makes no sense at all. But anyway, so the thing is they're manipulating and trying to make it appear that I sat there and said, um, William Clay thinks emotions. I did not say that. It's a little cut off um, and they spliced my video. I said, William Clay is faking emotions. Okay. So I'm going to record this and then I'm going to go back to his video and then I'm going to show you the lies. I did record a little bit of it, but I'm going to go on. Um, to emotion, but the thing is he fakes emotions. Um, See? It's on display. And, it's um, um and, 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 hold on, wait. You know that's reactive um to emotion, but the thing is, he fakes emotions. You can hear me say fakes, but it, they put they put in a little extra section there. There's also another part. I didn't finish reviewing this video. I have to review them because it's what they do. I can't keep up with it. I can't just. It's exhausting. So I'm going to show you this. Now he makes up this thing. Um, you might look, feel, this is a thing I'm reacting and I'm surprising why I'm actually feeling pain. Right. Um, I'm like, like I feel it, you know? And the thing is I have to recognize that, like, I mean, I can cry over movies and I know that it's the movie is not real. And the thing is the actor could be completely evil, right. And not even practice or believe that, that line that they just used or whatever. So, um, I'm trying to put a balance in it. Now, the thing is, look. I, like I've, I've said before, I've seen people who basically are real, genuinely crying over a pain and will lie and manipulate. My own flesh and blood has done that and it's evil. And I've actually tried to talk to them about it. And I'm just like, you're, you're basically, you're damaging yourself by faking emotions and lying and lying to yourself. Like you're corrupting your own mind. So, um, um, I, um, look, I'm just reacting. Like I, I, you know, this person is evil. So, um, listen to what he says carefully. Um, and he's manipulating. I'm still gonna have to do another part on this. All right. And then everyone goes home, but nobody's any different. Hold on. This guy, he's got some issues this rocking thing <sighs> does not i tested that i tested it and even though i keep telling him like look he's manipulating the line in his words and i'm testing this because it's a very strange thing to me and like I feel it. it, it hurts and the thing is i actually think just this actually should be studied um because, um, like, I mean, I hate this guy, right? And I, like I said, he, he, I think he belongs in prison. Like, I mean, I, I it, yeah. like this guy's on a road to hell. He wants to sit there and talk about on a, uh, walking on the road that they're walking. Like, who's he asking for about that? And what is he crying for? Like he's manipulating right after he's crying. Okay. And it still hurts. So, 
look, everybody, like I said, everybody's a human being, but yeah, the people are going so evil to uh, connect to their, 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 yeah, their humanness is very hard to do, especially the most evil people. This guy, it, it was in collusion and destroying my family and my children. Um, but why am I reacting and actually feeling pain? Like I feel it like in my heart and like physically, um, like your heart, like is kind of like when you're feeling that pain and your emotional distress or whatever, and your heart's pounding and, and, it, and if it's somebody else, like, you know, they're like in distress or whatever, and you're responding and you're like, you know, um, doing all these things, like it's still happening. So why is it happening? That's my question. Like, I want to know why, because he's lying right after that. And I hate him for it. And he's actually mixing a few of my words in with his lies. It's just like it's 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 equal to rape. It's it's like rape. It's like mind rape. Um, these people are, are are can they hear what he's saying? I know that he has used in the past wanting people to hear what is being said, but he's lying and manipulating. So there's a lot of confusion. Um, the thing is, is that. I, I, I would have to say it's only designed in the DNA of emotion of connection um, in language. Emotions is a universal language. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's like I mean, if you see the news and uh, something horrible happened to a child, like I mean. You cry, um, you know, your, your heart's responsive, you feel the pain, you feel all these things, and it's just like, okay, well, that same pain is like, well, happening to this monster now, it's not happening to him. Like, he is doing it. Do you understand? He is doing it. Um, I don't know if he's trying to express that he, that he did, he, he just didn't know, like, you know, yeah, I know that none of these church, churches know God or Jesus, but the thing is what he's saying, he does not believe this. He does not believe this. So it's confusing me. It's not my confusion. It's theirs. Um, and you know, look, okay, let me finish what I was saying before. So you have like, you know, that pain and suffering you feel because something horrible happened to a child. Like I've been like just really messed up, like uh, viewing the thing, horrible things, you know, that happened. So the thing is, it's just like when you're, when you're, um, what about the art evil person? What about the evil person, though? The, the person who committed heinous crimes against children or whatever the case may be or whatever. I, would I cry? Um, I, to a certain degree, probably not or whatever, but to, like other things, like, I mean, what if somebody just like, you know, killed a child and they're expressing all this pain about them, has something happening to them being a child? Are you going to feel that? Probably. Probably. I'm trying to understand this. I actually really think this should be observed um, because this, this is not making any sense to me. I am feeling deep pain and he's manipulating. Okay. And, you know, I'm, I'm really confused by it. And I had to watch this like 10 times and I'm just like, okay, well, let me see if I feel that pain again. Let me see if I feel that pain again. Right. I go by away from it. I come back to it and I'm just like, all right, let's see if I feel that pain again. And I keep saying, I'm speaking against it. And I'm like, he's lying and manipulating him. And I'm telling myself these things like, Okay, well, he's lying and manipulating some of his confusion. Maybe he's expressing that that's how he thought. Like, he's expressing, like, how he thought that. He just, you know, didn't know anything about God. And he's somewhat expressing that. He kept saying over and over, like, you know, learning how to love and learning how to, uh, to uh, you know, and to um, to seek the will of God. Well, he didn't say it like that, but seek, you know, um, um, yeah, well, God's will or whatever. I'm summing that up. So in so many words, you'll hear it. But the thing is, it's just like, is he, is he, then he continues and manipulates people and he's doing the same thing. He's playing with these, these people, like these people are like responding in emotion, but why are they responding in emotion? But then he sits there and makes up all these lies. And he sits there and says, Jesus said things and it was, it's against Jesus Christ. Right? So the thing is, it's like, yeah, I've witnessed people like believing that their beliefs are actually, actually Jesus Christ and it's against Jesus Christ. And they don't realize that it's evil. They actually think that it's good. Like these things, I really believe that like there should be like a deeper 
observation who's going to discern it and who's going to see though most of the people in the world basically are spiritually blind who's going to see this who sees this in this church that he's surrounded the people that he's surrounded by who sees that are they going to start questioning it are they going to start is their mind going to start reasoning now he does try to get people to do that but the thing is he'll sit there and he knows the confusion of people and he knows it's wrong um and but he's manipulating. He's doing wrong. So you can't sit there and and lie and manipulate and expect people to basically to see the truth. That's it, it's it's that's madness. Uh, this is what he does, though. So I'm gonna go on. This seems real. Crying. It seems real and genuine. Look, my though my flesh and blood, like they have, they have done that. And the thing is, I'm, I'm. It seems like to me, when I'm counting them, they seem all compassionate, crying and remorseful and stuff. They're, they're responding to some other pain. It's a selfish pain. Like people, yeah, evil people who don't want who. How do I say this? Evil people who want to do evil can sit there and experience pain and suffering because they want to do that evil. Do you understand? I've seen that. So it, it's. I'm gonna go on. 19 years ago, <clears throat> came the pastor of this church. <clears throat> One thing that I said to Jesus was, I just don't want to do church anymore. So tired of church. <clears throat> I don't want to come and sing some songs and... <clears throat> Everybody hear a 20 minute little sermon, which you know doesn't happen here. And then everyone goes home, but nobody's any different. I told Jesus if that's what he wanted me to do, then I couldn't be the pastor here because I don't believe in it. I wanted to be a part of a place. He said Jesus told him a something, whatever. And he said he told Jesus if that's what he wanted him to do, he did not want to be a part of it. A little play on my words, by the way, because I said I did not want to be a part of what they're doing. And the thing is, they weren't teaching Christ. Uh, they weren't doing any of these things or whatever. I'm not going to be a part of their sin and their blasphemies and slander against Jesus. So he's not convicting. He's not doing anything. Um... It doesn't make any sense. And no, I'm not speaking against Jesus because I'm not going to. Um, they're very confused. So, you know, when Jesus said go out into the world, it, you know, look, they don't understand. Like I had this other church, a Frank Apollo, Anthony Apollo. So they're, oh, you're, you're made, mocking me because, oh, you claiming I'm preaching to Christians or teaching Christians. When you're speaking lies and an abomination against God, and I'm sitting there speaking to you the word of God, which they could turn around and steal afterwards and claim for themselves. They mock me sitting there. Oh, you're, you're not supposed to go to, to the ch Christian church and stuff or whatever. You're supposed to go out to the world after I spoke um telling them um speaking against them being christian or whatever as said you know because they were claiming their church society is like the church and everything everything everybody outside is basically uh against god and not the church or whatever the case may be and things like that and they were manipulating it's just like okay yeah and i actually i think i wrote him that uh it's just like well because they were persecuting making fun of me and i'm just like yeah well jesus said go out into the world so i went to church <laughs> So the thing is, <laughs> um, they are lost. And the thing is, is they're very confused um, and who they are. And yeah, they are deceived by false leaders. A lot of their church societies were basically um, created by false leaders. Okay. Misleading people away from God. Okay. And planting their evil seeds. So um, I'm going to record this again. Um one more. I'm going to sing some songs and everybody hear a 20 minute little sermon, which you know doesn't happen here. Hold on. Back up. You can go before that. Hold on.
Just turn on his mic. I've seen him like perform these tears or whatever to mock people crying. He's mocked me for crying for being bullied or whatever, and then basically abusing me for basically being a victim of domestic violence. And then he mocked the situation, like I said before, and basically put up a song, Nobody's Gonna Cry in My House as long as I'm alive, I'll glorify his holy name. Um, and they go around sitting there saying, You're not glorifying God. Um, well, if you speak well, uh, uh, holy just judgment against their evil, this is what they do, um, it, flipping things backwards. So so um, it's it's really terrible. So because I actually called them psychopaths, I actually started years ago or whatever, because they were condemning me for any, any word of God that I spoke or emotions I expressed or whatever, which they all do. They just don't realize it. And uh, I mean, even our expression and our language when we're communicating language, we are also part of the language that we're expressing that actually is interpreting us saying things is basically um, using also the language of emotion. This is from my original writings, by the way. So um, and it basically came by observing uh, what was in front of me and not understanding why they were sitting there condemning emotions. But I mean, they call me a demon for crying for them both blaming me and blaming me for being abused um or as they slandered god and things like that or whatever so i'm gonna go on so he basically i'm gonna record again yeah of him basically claiming that jesus said said to him no jesus didn't say thing, this to him and this is a thing he this this is not the knowledge about jesus or god that he holds um and he's deliberately going against it, so there's a lot of confusion. Um, he does know what I teach about Jesus that is against their teachings. Um, and, like, he knows. He knows. Um, he's having, actually just demonstrated it in his sermon because I basically taught in that church um, that Jesus said, um, I go to my God and your God, um, and said, go tell my brethren, I go to my God and your God, to my father and your father, um, which I was actually bullied um uh in that church and slandered um uh, for teaching that because it's against all their churches and their their false beliefs i'm gonna go on look at his behavior <clears throat> this is fake behavior, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So that's Brandon in the background. Um, this... Um, I believe his, I believe he is a sensitive person. I believe that he, his emotions are real. I believe he really cries. He fakes emotions. Um, attention seeking. So it's not based on faking emotions. Like I've seen it like here in the household, like where somebody like a psychopath actually fakes emotions to appear that they are emotional. Um, he, he, <clears throat> people do this. I'm not saying rocking is faking. What he is doing is faking. He is he is pumping himself up to express his emotions. He does cry. Now the thing is, I believe no matter who you are, if you're righteous or evil or whatever, like look, everybody has emotions. Period. Uh, the, the more evil you are, the more distorted your emotions are. The more unsanctified they are. Um, so I mean, I do believe the psychopath can experience like genuine emotions and genuine pain, like everybody else, even righteously. No matter how psychopathic you are. So um, the thing is, is that Brandon is 
trying to appear to be more emotional um, than anything. And it, it goes, it's a different story that I'm going to go on, but I'm going to record this, this is, uh, getting close to the end of the time. So, um, Brandon, this behavior I have seen before. I'm not saying like, look, people can, can rock when they're, I mean, rock. I think just about everybody has experienced that. Not like this. This is a little, uh, um, exaggerated. Um, the thing is, it's just like, yeah, I rocked in distress. Um, um, but the language that is playing and laws or principles between the activity between people going on, um, it is different. He is trying to fake into fitting an emotion. So, like I said, I really actually really believe that he's a sensitive guy. So it's not like he's like, um, um, how do I, I don't know, but I'm going to go on. Um, so, but this behavior I have seen before and it, it's, it's fake. So I don't know why he, he does that. So, or, or people like him do that. It's weird. Um, I've known somebody, I, I, the last time I seen it was probably like out 20 years ago. I don't know, 20, 25 years ago. I knew this, I seen this person where they would like, uh, actually, no, no, I see this person after that, I think, do that the same thing and where they would like shake their foot and they would put their foot in a position where it would shake. Like they're expressing like this nervousness or this upsetting behavior or something for attention. And it's really weird. So this is the same behavior that is being expressed with him. Um, now there are people told to rock. You know, you have like, you know, the, the, these other sex societies um, where, you know, they they rock at a, at, a, at the wall, the wailing wall or something like that. And they're total rock because they're, they're misled and deceived and mocked to basically believe that if you rock more or whatever, it's more spiritual focus. And it's, it's not. And just the opposite there, there'll be, there'll be like distraction to like the body then away from the spirit. So the thing is, is that I'm not saying you have to keep you know, be completely still or whatever. But, um, so that is different, but this, this, this rocking. Yeah. I believe that there is, um, um, a rocking where people do have nervous conditions or they, you know, there's, you know, like I said, in the stress or whatever, this is fake. So you're going to see that and his crying, I believe he does react and generally cries in response to William Clay. And he's done that where he's wiping his eyes and tears or whatever and things like that. I believe that, yeah, he's crying. But the thing is, is he paying attention? Is he paying attention to what he's saying? What is he crying for? And what is William Clay crying for? And is, is William Clay's uh, crying actually real? It seems pretty real. I he or he's that he's just that manipulative. I I do not know, but it's painful to me. So <laughs> looks up. Hold on, I want to go back. I want to bag this. I'm gonna see what he just starts. All right, I'm gonna start see what he starts rocking. That's all I got. All right, hold on. Uh, wait, I go before that. Okay. Looks up, looks down, taps his feet. Looks over. Are you looking at me? You see that? Nineteen years ago, <clears throat> came the pastor of this church. One 
things that I said to Jesus was I just don't want to do church anymore. So tired of church. I don't want to come and sing some songs and everybody hear a 20 minute little sermon, which you know doesn't happen here. And then everyone goes home, but nobody's any different. I told Jesus if that's what he wanted. Is me he to any do, different? Then I couldn't be the pastor here because I don't believe in it. I wanted to be a part of a place where we. Ex- First time I heard that. And no, I don't believe in these churches. I say that all the time. Never heard him say that. Um, I want to be a pastor here because he doesn't believe in it. Hmm. Experienced God and we experienced each other. And they attacked me for my experiences of God because, and they know. It's not, I never went around sitting there saying, oh, I had the spiritual experience with God or whatever. But they were actually attacking me and slandering me because of the spiritual um um insight that i basically had um and they started acting very very strange um so i'm gonna go on and we walk with each other through the good times because there's lots of good times people get married and people have babies and people graduate and we celebrate and i love that but there's also lots of difficult times and I want to be a, very a part of a place like where there. we just walk with people no matter where the road takes them. That's all I wanted. I wanted to be a place, part of a place where it's real. Where we don't act like we have it all together because we don't. And we struggle. Okay, I got to end with this because it's near the end. And I just want to let you know, they were telling people, and they have told me actually in the church, but in, to other people afterwards, um, sat there and said, uh, well, they can go to church if they get their life together. They need to get their life together first. So I'm going to go end with that and do another video.